Welcome to another episode of Ghosts and Stuff. We're at Fox Ridge Park here in Henderson, Nevada. We're looking for the demon boy who likes to hang out on these swings. What was that? The demon boy of Fox Ridge Park. So this story is actually really interesting. There is this local park down in Henderson, which is just a, a small suburb in the southeast part of the Las Vegas area. And I've read a lot of conflicting stories about what this kid entails and where he came from. There's also a few other weird stories, like a lady who got murdered by an ex, but I don't think we're gonna be talking about that today. Anyways, back to this demon kid. So apparently around 12 a.m. or 3 a.m., these swings, they move because there's this boy who will appear and he swings on these swings. And if you make eye contact with him, he turns into a demon and then he vanishes, which seems like the least threatening thing that he could do. But I'm glad he's gone. So I've been hearing a lot of different things. Some people say that this boy is the spirit of a child who was hit by a drunk driver. There's also an elementary school nearby, which I don't think there's any connection but I also checked accident reports and I didn't see anything about a young child getting hit anywhere near there. So this could be a kid who's coming back to a place where he built memories with his family, or maybe he's coming back to see a favorite teacher at that elementary school. This story seems to be built on a bunch of rumors. Nothing seems to be substantiated and there's no dark history behind this park. It's just a small local park. So I think we should go there and see whether this is really the ghost of a child or something more sinister. Maybe it's trying to draw visitors in just to feed on the fear that it brings. Let's go check it out. So we're actually at the park right now. And behind me is that elementary school that we were talking about where people have said that the kid was a student there or maybe this is where the accident happened, but I'm not sure. It's kind of creepy when it's here at night. You hear the uh, tetherball courts and you hear the chains hitting the poles. It's also really weird that the sprinklers are kind of just dying down while we're talking, but this is where it is and it's very close to the park. It's actually a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. It's right next door. Like there's, all there is is this fence and a small drop off, but I could see like if a kid were to go from this school and like maybe walking home and going over to this park right over here. But yeah, it's kind of creepy and unsettling here at night. So there's a path that goes around the whole park. And I guess this is where people will say that they see the woman who was murdered looking for her children, but it gets a little dark over here in the back corner. And I guess it could be a little creepy at night. Like right now I see some lights flickering over here. One of the uh, street lamps is out right here. That street lamp is flickering. And you have the elementary school over on this side with the tetherball chains and strange mechanical sounds and lights. But overall you get a heaviness and there's a lot of energy in the air. I mean, it could be that it's just really hot out here because it's Las Vegas and you know, in the summer, but Definitely with the uh, quiet from these trees and the stillness in the night, it gets a little creepy if you're here by yourself or maybe with a small group. Let's go see if we can find that kid. Yeah, if you come out here in the middle of night, you get these loud rumblings that come from over there. And I want to say that it's airplanes, but I'm not sure. It's a little disquieting just hearing this low rumble over the whole park and not knowing where it comes from. I'm hearing some buzzes coming from over by the elementary school, so it is a little creepy. I'm just over at a, at a bench back in the back corner where it's kind of dark and I'm, I'm in some trees, but yeah, this park, it's, uh, it does have a creepy vibe to it, but nothing too much. I don't think it's as scary as people think it is, but I don't know, the lights, the lights give you a little false sense of security, but I don't know if those lights were to go out, uh, it'd, be a new, it'd be a whole different story. Yeah, some of these lights though in the uh, perimeter of the park make it feel a little more secure and uh, it does have some creepy feelings when you hit the dark patches, but I don't know, these lights, hold on, that's, that's, really, that's really weird. This light, this light seems to be flickering. Are you guys getting that? Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see it. It's, it's really dark and hard to catch, but yeah, this light 
something seems to be up with it. I know that I know that some like paranormal activity can be associated with like flickering lights and there's a lot of bugs and insects over here. It's hitting me right now. That's really weird and creepy. I don't like it. So this is the actual swing set that people have reportedly seen one of these swings moving on its own around 12 or 3 a.m. I'm not sure. They also say that if you swing on them, you'll feel somebody pushing you or feel a strong presence around you, like, like you're unwanted here. But I haven't witnessed anything here, but definitely feels a little creepy. And you know, when you hear stories like that, you feel the energy in the air around it. They also say that if you see the boy swinging on these and you make eye contact with him, he'll take on his demonic form and then vanish into the air, which it makes me wonder if he's a spirit or if he's a demon who's trying to feed on people's fear or trying to draw people in to this area. I don't know, it definitely feels weird here though, especially with the playground right there too. I also just talked to some kids who are here hanging out at the park late at night and they were telling a story about how this boy reportedly kicked the ball out into the busy street over here and he went off chasing it and that's how he got struck and that's why he's trapped to this place forever. But I don't know how much weight you want to put in just a story from some kids, but there's definitely a creepy vibe here and it feels like a kind of popular spot for a lot of late night hanging out and um, you know urban legends and sharing those stories. Fox Ridge Park here in Henderson seems like any other park that you might visit. It does have some dark urban legends surrounding it, but I didn't witness anything too creepy. People do say that these swings move on their own, but all I saw was a few flickering lights and the chains on the tetherball court that was clanging and that deep rumbling from over here. It was a little creepy. And if you come out here, definitely come check out this park and let me know if you see any of these swings moving on their own.